primary goal behind Sandy Woods is to create a community in which people can appreciate the earth, um, respect it, be good stewards of the land, and also feel inspired to create artwork or music or whatever their particular passion might be. Many of the residents realize that we're laying the groundwork for the years to come. Uh, there's a sense that we are, in fact, the pioneers, the folks that are charting a, a path that future families who decide to move here and live here can follow. Um, so it's challenging at times, and there's a lot of work to be done. The raging rocks and shivering shocks shall break the locks of prison gates. Joe Bossom and Mika Seeger owned a farm here in Tiverton and decided it was time to sell most of the land and didn't want a cookie cutter development uh, to arise out of the farm. I wasn't too happy about the idea of living in the middle of a development or for that matter a golf course, which was another thought. Um, you know, what I'd really like is to be surrounded by artists. I was interested in the idea of Sandy Woods the idea of uh, starting an artist community. Most of the financing came from Rhode Island Housing and banks who were interested in providing affordable housing uh, with farmers and artists having a preference for residency. That's what I'm you. Well, all of the affordable housing around here or anything you know, that was affordable for me was in the city, you know, Fall River, New Bedford. I wouldn't have been able to have my studio in my home if I lived in the city. I love it here at Sandy Woods. It's, you know, it's shaping my life. How exactly, how I, I've dreamed it to be. I feel like this community, you know, and all of us together are kind of the pioneers in making this sort of idea happen around the east, you know, this area, the idea of living together, working together. The um, actual way the community was built, it's like a front porch community, so everything, the porches are really close to the road and they all face each other, so it sort of forces that interaction. You can't go on your porch and have your neighbor outside and not say, like, hi. So it sort of forces that, which, you know, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's, it's kind of like, oh, I need privacy, but it's nice because you can pull back when you need to. Yeah, I would define the community here um, like a big dysfunctional family. I think we all, you know, care about each other, and but you know, we run and there's turmoil. We're all struggling to, you know, be heard and find our place. When you have a beautiful space, and when you have a whole bunch of different kinds of people working together, the ideas of all those different people have to be developed. Uh, there, is, there, is no, there is no one way to do it. So I am looking forward to being surprised, honest to gosh. <laughs>